So the last thing to do with our bar chart is to set the height of the bars according to the values of the numbers in the array. Now this is very similar to the CSS rectangle example and we can just use a callback function to set the height property and use this data d value to provide the height. So we've created an SVG element here and we've binded some rectangle elements to this data set and we've set them to be 30 units or pixels apart and we set the width to 25 so now we're just going to set the height now and this callback function takes in d which is the value of the element and i which is the index of the element and we're just going to need d the value at the moment so we're going to return d and that's created a bunch of bars here now we want to be able to use, tell the difference between let's say this bar and this bar a bit more clearly so what we can do is we can multiply this by a constant number which is kind of like zooming in on the graph the relative proportions of the bar will be the same but it'll be a lot clearer to see and what it wants us to do here is it wants us to return to return the height and we want to times it by 3 so we'll just do return 3 times d and now we've got easy distinction between the heights of the bars and the scale is still the same so yeah that's all we need for this task so I'm just gonna run the test now excellent